Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to recreate the iconic Barbie movie dress. Let's get started. The fabric that I'm gonna use is the cotton fabric. For the pattern, I'm gonna use the Princess Sims pattern. You can download it from the link below. After cutting the pattern, I tape them together like this. And this is what I got. Then I just draw the design on the pattern, which is very easy. Then separate the pattern and cut what I just drew. Then I'm going to join these two pieces together to create a new dart here. I attach them on the drafting paper and add seam allowances. I add one centimeter seam allowance on the top, but for the side, I add about 1.5 centimeters. For the darts, I add only one centimeter. And here is my pattern. Moving to the cutting, I cut one set of this pattern for the bodies and another set for the lining. I'm going to sew the darts here. So I have to make sure that the darts are placing on the right position. I love how the darts look. They're very nice and clean. This is the center front of the bodies. Now I'm going to sew the side pieces and the center back. Pin them together and sew. This is what I got so far, but I'm still not happy with it. So I add the darts here because I want it to be perfectly fitted on me. This is the final look of my pattern. Now I'm gonna make the strap. First, I wanted to make it like the original movie dress. She has like two tie straps. But I just want to add simple straps so I only needed two of them now. I use the loop turner to turn the right side out. This is what I got. Then I pin the bodies, the lining and the straps together. The straps will be placed in the middle of the um, bodies and the lining like this. And 
and so this is what I got now and I'm very happy with it I also top stitched on the lining so it won't come up when I wear the dress Coming to the skirt I cut the fabric in rectangle and plated it like this Make sure that the pleats aren't too small This is how it looks Then pin the skirt only to the bodies, not the lining, just for the zipper later. And so. Now it's time for the zipper. First, I only sew the zipper on the bodies, like this, pin, pin, pin. Pin the other side and so. After sewing the zipper to the bodies, then I sew it on the lining too, but on the wrong side of the fabric. Then turn the right side out and close the gap by sewing the lining to the bodies and the skirt. And this is how it looks. Here is the belt that I made. I did the same as I did for the straps. Here is the wrong side. Then I'm gonna flip the right side out by using the loop turner again. I wrap the tip of the belt to make it sharp. Then I close the little gap here. This is how my belt looks. I overlock the bottom of the skirt for the hem and so. Voila! This is my dress and my belt. This is the buckle for the belt. I also made a bow hair pin to get the finished look. So you need to cut the fabric in a square, rectangle, and one strip for the center. Fold the fabric in half and stitch down the long edge. I left about 1 inch on the center so I can use the hole to pull the right side out. I used the loop turner to help me pull the right side out. 
Rub the edges to make them sharp. This is the main fabric for the bow, the tail, and the center piece. Take the main bow piece and pull it together like this. I use thread to secure the bow. Take the tail and tie them together like this with the thread. Then take the center piece, wrap around it, and cut the excess fabric sew them together and here is the bow Then I glue the hairpin to the bow and the bow is done. I am absolutely happy how this turned out. I wear the dress with my DIY petticoat. I also made the dress for my daughter and her Barbie so I will share the DIY in the next video. I am totally in love with the dress. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.